that was probably the best trauma we've ever had. What's up, PNation? Nation? Today we're in Bucharest, Romania. We're starting in this apartment because I want to show you the communist hallway we have to walk down every day before we go outside. <laughs> communist era. Communist era. <laughs> but we are going to the Parliament Building and Carroll Park to look at some communist era statues, mm -hmm. and then down to the Old Town to check it out. And that's how long it takes to lock the door. Okay, so as you can see, it's not as nice as a hotel, but we love staying at Airbnbs because we want to get the feel for how people actually live in the country yeah. we're in. And these communist era buildings are actually like really, really fun. I mean, in the way that they're kind of really creepy. And historical. And historical. Mm -hmm. Now we're exiting our quaint neighborhood and heading on the metro to... Uriri Square? Mm This is the coolest playground. We had no idea this was gonna be here in front of the parliament building, but it looks just like the parliament building or a castle. If I was a kid, I'd be here every day. Okay, so we have made it to the Parliament Building and we told you a little bit of history about it yesterday, so if you want to see that, watch that video. But we didn't realize we couldn't tour it because the President of the EU is actually here. Yeah, so they're like holding offices here. I didn't know that they couldn't stay in one spot for a long time, so they like jump around from country to country. And they're currently here in Romania. That's so cool. Right behind us is the mausoleum. There's a lot of controversy over this park because they were going to place a huge Orthodox church, which is now in construction in a different location, right there on the mausoleum. But there was so much backlash from the community that I guess it didn't happen. At least that's what I've read. So this park was established in 1906. It was taken over by the communist era. It had multiple changes happen to it during that time, but it has survived pretty much. So this is a very interesting and historical place. humid out today because it rained so much like ever since we got here in Romania it's been raining 
But these steps are too much. I, it's more than I bargained for for this walk. <laughs> these steps are too much. You know, I want to say that these people <laughs> that are standing here, normally I'm like, oh my gosh, these soldiers are so hot when they're guarding the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers. Yeah. But these soldiers have such a good view. I might volunteer for this job. That's true. And we forgot to mention that there is a castle in this park as well. We don't know who it belongs to or if you can go visit it, but we're gonna go because look at it. Of course, we're in Transylvania. What else <laughs> should you expect? Technically, we're not in Transylvania, Zach. We're in Wallachia, so get your Romanian geography right. Okay, so we couldn't find the castle, but that doesn't matter because we're taking you to six different Transylvanian castles in the next week. Whew. And as you can tell, we made it to the main street. Sorry for the cars, but we are getting hungry. So we're on the lookout for some Euro meat because that's what I'm craving. I know we need to eat Romanian food, but we'll get to that when we go on our road trip. Yeah. Okay, so our research this place is a little nicer than places we normally go, but it has like really good Euro meat. Like they cure it in salt apparently, and it's like an institution here in this neighborhood. So we're gonna check it out. Okay, so I think we got the mixed plate. This chicken is this beef. Mm -hmm. And then like some coleslaw without dressing, and some regular lettuce, and some cabbage, and some pickles, which I've never seen pickles like this, and tomatoes without the skin on them. We are fully aware this is not Romanian food, but we are very hungry and very excited. So I'm trying this. It looks like shawarma. They had a bunch of different shawarma looking things up there. I like that this is like a deconstructed, like, gyro. We got the shawarma, we got the veggies, we got tomato, all the things that make a gyro really, really good. It's fries on the side, but you can actually like taste every single taste individually instead of like all together, and it's not falling apart, which I usually have a problem with. This is very good. Okay, so we got what I think is chocolate baklava. It looks like it has peanut butter on top, but I know it's not, but I want it to be that. The crust on the outside is very good pastry, and it's like Hershey syrup inside. Can we get, can we get another one, Leah? I am so full. Was it good? Did it live up to the hype? It did. I think that was probably the best formula we've ever had. Okay, so we made it to the old town, and you know we're budget travelers, so guess what we're having for dessert? Milk and cookie. <laughs> this is the like, smallest milk jug I've ever seen in my life. It's only it 50 is cents. So cute. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. So crazy story, apparently in the old town of Bucharest, there are all these churches that were lifted from the original spot with hydraulics in the early or late 1900s, and then they were put on train tracks and moved to their new spot. And this is one of the churches that was lifted, stayed intact, and got moved to a new spot. Okay, and that is it from Bucharest. It's been real, it's been a lot of history lessons, and it was fun learning about communism and really all was. the different eras. <laughs> we really liked it here, it's really nice. So thanks for watching. Call us lame. <laughs> okay, so we made, we made it to the... <laughs> what are these things on the gutters? It's like so Dracula. Down, I see. The key is in the mausoleum. You left your key in a mausoleum. <laughs>